the sun right now is so bizarre. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who left comments on the uh, protection incense video. And feel free to please add more and more. What other ingredients do you use beside the normal uh, sage, palo santo, dragon's blood stuff for your protection incense for your home? And your what, what else do you use? I am anxious to hear. Please, 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 please post so... I can look up new herbs for myself and other people will have other ideas besides feeling like they have to get sage. You know, no, I'm not putting sage down. Don't even, let's not get it twisted. Don't even go there. It won't end well for you. So those of you who have mates that are allergic to sage, what do you use? You know, I know a lot of people might use Florida water. And there's more than just Florida water cologne. There's tons of colognes, not just Florida waters. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Put in Google Florida water cologne, what else? Or something crazy like that. I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm one to use like 75 different herbs. And once a month, usually right after I do my full moon ritual, I get my huge bowl and put all these herbs in it. And you, you get, uh, you crunch it up with your hands. Or if you're just sitting there watching the movies, just stir, stir it up with a, like a metal spoon so that it gets all nice and crunched up. Put it in your favorite, whatever beautiful container. So every morning you take a pinch, you put it on your charcoal tablet, look it up, charcoal tablets for burning incense and resins. Uh, and you stay, your house stays cleansed and in divine order all the time. And you, because you're, you know, wafting on yourself too. So what other incense, uh, leaves, trees, bark, dirt, sand, shells, you know, pebbles, what else do you add to your protection incense? Inquiry minds want to know. <laughs>